So logarithmic function is the inverse of exponential function. Inverse yan, exponential. Therefore, since this is the inverse of exponential, yung properties ng graph ni exponential, it also applies to the properties of the graph of logarithmic function. Now, if sir, say inverse ni exponential, Siyempre, we can rewrite the logarithmic into exponential form or vice versa. Pwede mo isulat yung logarithmic going to exponential, then exponential going to logarithmic form. So example, we have x is equal to b raised to y. Ano yung exponent natin dito? And this is the exponent. And the base? B. Ayan. This is the base. Right. In writing into logarithmic form, we have y, the exponent, is equal to log x, our res resulting answer here, to the base b. Paano siya basahin? y is equal to logarithmic of, pabalituhin natin, logarithmic of x to the base b. Sa pa? Y is equal to the limit of x to the base of b. Mahalaga na alam natin kung saan nakalocate si base palagi. Siya yung parang subscript natin dito. Subscript. Now, let's transform exponential to logarithmic. So, exponent daw, exponent is 3, is equal to log a to the base, ano yung base natin? Okay. So, exponent is equal to, so yun L-O-G, tapos resulting answer natin, which is 8, to the base, ano yung base mo? 2. X, 3, is equal to log, 1, 2, 5, Next, exponent, 5, log, 100,000, base, Next, exponent, 4, is equal to log, 1 over 16 to the base 1. Last one. 1 third, third is equal to log, log 4, 4 base 16. Now bring out your scientific calculator. Kindly verify if the following examples are correct. So, may kita po natin sa calculator natin yung log, tapos rectangle, and rectangle na ganyan. Yan yung pipindutin natin. Nahanap na to, log A to the base 2. Ayan, hindi yan. A to the base. What is it, sir? Equal sign. Sir, 3. Oh, ipatingin. 
Ito, si gilid. Now, kapag yung calculator natin ay ganito, mababa yung mga functions, wala tayong makikita ng ganyan. Ang ah, makikita lang natin log. So, pag ganyan, a log. Wala. Hindi mo magamit ko, sir? Hindi mo magamit ko. Wala siya yung ganung function. Okay, so pag na-familiarize sa, sa calculator, we have the common logarithm. Uses 10 as the base. So, ibig sabihin na ikita natin mga subscript natin, yung base natin, ay 10. If the base is not indicated, it is understood that it is a common logarithm. For example, may nakita kayong ganito. Um, log Log 5 Okay Wala tayong base Wala tayong base dito So understood na ito ay Base of 10 Taka base of 10 Now the following are facts About logarithmic function If you have log 10 Base 10 That is equal to 1 Pakita yun nga log 10 base 10 1. How about log 5, base 5? 1. Log 25, base 25? 1. Basta po mag... Kasi yung, ano, yung x niya, tsaka yung subscript niya, 1 po yung answer. Equal to 1. Ah, okay. O, lagi lumalabas sa exam. For example, log 1,000, base 1,000. 1. Equal to 1. And if you have log 1, base 10, that is equal to 10. And if you have log 10, raised to 5, understood may 10 dito. Okay? So, since log 10, base 10, nakuha natin is 5. So, yung 5 dito, so laws of, expo uh, laws of logarithm natin, mapupunta siya sa unahan. So, this will become 5 times 1. And simply equal to 5. Huh? Huh? Oh, 5 times 1. 5. Okay, sir, paano po wala akong calculator? Wala akong pabiling scientific calculator. So, we have evaluating logarithms. So, paano ko ito gagawin din without using the calculator? Kasi pag in-insert mo ito sa calculator, ibibigay niya kagad yung sagot. O, pag-insert nga, log 240 to the base 5. So, ang sagot natin dyan, 5. Eh, paano pag wala bang calculator, tutunga nga lang ba tayo? Yeah. Siyempre, hindi tayo tutunga nga lang. Dapat may sagot tayo. So, we're going to find the unknown. No, the question mark. Ano kayong sagot niyan? But instead of writing question mark, in math, we use variable, let's say x. We're going to find x. First step, isulat siya into Exponential form. O, paano siya isulit into exponential form? Base natin is? 3. 3. Then, ang exponent natin ay x is equal to 2, 4, 3. And now, naka-exponential na siya. Dapat parehas tayo ngayon ng base. O, babalik tayo ng process ng exponential. So, 3 ang base dito, therefore, 3 din dapat sa right side. Tama? Now, ano nga yung exponent natin? So, 3 times 3. Times 3. Times 3. Times 3. 243. So, this is raised to 5. Kapag in-expand mo, siya pa din to. Now, parehas yung base. So, x is equal to Yan lang. So, it means, mag-invest ka sa kanto. Kasi nakakabali yung pag walang calcium. Hindi naman. O, oh, next ito. Solve for x. So, we have base is 1 half raised to x is equal to 8. 
So, saan na galing si one half? Siya po si base. Then this is the exponent, so dapat na sa siya ni base. And this is the resulting answer or number. Now, iangat muna natin kasi naka-fraction siya. So, this will become 2 raised to negative 1. Pero, meron pa tayo exponent na x. So, multiply natin si x dyan. Is equal to a. Ang goal natin, parehas sila ng base. So, ano mas mali? 2 or a? 2. So, just copy 2. Multiply na natin to. Negative x is equal to 2. Parehas dapat to. Ano ang ilalagay mo sa exponent ni 2 para maging a? 3. 2 times 2? 4. 2 times 2? 8. So, we have 3. So, we have now negative x is equal to X lang ang kailangan natin. So, we need to multiply by negative. So, X is equal to negative. How about number 2? So, X. So, base is 5 raised to X is equal to 1 over 1 to Fraction to, so iangat natin. 5 raised to x is equal to 25 raised to negative 1. Paano na yan? Dapat same sila nito. So we have 5 raised to x is equal to 1 to 5 is 5 raised to 5 times 5, times 5, so raised to 3. Eh, multiply pa daw natin ng negative. So, x is negative. Good. So, kuha nyo? Next week, pag-usapan natin. Ah, ito ba? 1 over 3 raised to x is equal to 27. So, ka-fraction, so we need to raise to negative 1 times x is equal to 27. So, 3, 27, 3 raised to 3 times 3 times 3 cube. So, we have negative x is equal to 3. Parang parehas lang. Negative x is equal to 3. Pares. 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 So let's say this is equal to x. We're going to find x. Now we have 2 raised to x is equal to... Ano mas mali eh? 2. So copy 2 raised to x is equal to 2 raised to 2. Same na yung base. So x is equal to 2. So yun na buha. Alright. Next. Equal to x. So we have 25 raised to x is equal to 5. So mas balit si 5. So gawin natin na base 5. So 5 raised to 2x. Bakit decorate sa 2? Kasi 5 is square, 25. So, anong sagot, sir? So, ang sagot natin dito, 2x is equal to 1. Divide by 2. X is 1. How about number 3? 1 and 1. Common logarithm. Okay. So, dito ay x. So, one-third raised to x is equal to 27. Now, iangat muna natin ito. 
3 raised to negative 1 or simply negative x is equal to 3 raised to 3. So x is equal to 3. Negative x is equal to 3. Negative x. Negative. We need to multiply by negative para maging positive. Number five, meron kayo? Oh. So, 1 over 3 raised to x is equal to 1 over 9. Iangat muna natin to 3 magiging negative x is equal to 9 raised to negative 1. Next, so magiging 3 raised to negative x is equal to 3 raised to negative 1. So x is negative positive. Yes. Bakit? Kasi negative x is equal to negative 2. Multiply by negative. Positive. Para mabuhay yung negative sa x. Para sa sagot pero mabuhay yung negative. Okay lang naman. So, i-shortcut lang yan kayo. So, paano to? 1 third raised to x is equal to 1. So, i-angat muna natin sa 3. Maging 3 raised to negative x is equal to 1. Next. May property tayo. In exponential, we have any number raised to what number is equal to 1? Zero. zero. For example, we have 10 raised to 0. One. 3 raised to 0. One. 1. So since ang base natin dito ay 3, we can write this as 3 raised to 0. Ama? Kasi 3 raised to 0, pipigit tayo ng 1 na sagot. Therefore, negative x is equal to 0. Or simply, x is equal to 0. Okay. How about here? Is equal to x. So we have... 16 raised to x is equal to 4. So, mas maliit si 4 dito. So, siya magiging base natin. Now, we have 4 raised to 2. For same base, so 2x is equal to 1. Divide by 2. x is 1. Mali? Number 8. 1 third raised to x is equal to 1 third. Oh, common sense na yan. May 1 dito. So, x is equal to 1. Or, common logarithm. Ba't ito tayo nag-solve? Diba? Parehas. So, equal to 1 talaga yan. Oh, nga. Ba't ko pa sinol? Next, x. So, 2 raised to x is equal to 1 over 8. 2 raised to x is equal to 2 cubed. So, x is equal to negative 3. Negative. Yes! Who got 9? 2. Wow. 8. Yes, sir. 7. 6. 5. 5. 4. 3. 4. 2. Copy. 